Hello, my name is Travis, and today we are going to be talking all about wonderful symbol stacks. What makes a good stack, what makes a bad stack, and maybe to see if all of these will stack. The Let's department go. starts now! I just like being the disembodied <laughs> voice of reason when need be. That's your job, Kyle. It's great. Just this frantic scream across. It's sort of like if I was directing the show from over there. It's like, the Jet Department starts now! You missed a line, Travis. You missed a line. Ah! Oh, line! But hey, congrats. That was a killer intro, man. I didn't You're expect you to blast hey. my ears like that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out around me. No, it was good. It was really good. Oh, I love your stacks. Thank you. You gotta watch out around me. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a loose cannon behind the kit I sometimes. I want to hear more of a... Yeah, play that one. Just right, play that one for us right now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I love about. that that's thing. The that's the uh, Matt Garska signature temporal stack. Super cool. Straight mm -hmm. into the pitch. Here we are. <laughs> this is that's probably like my favorite symbol in my whole kit. Oh yeah, I love that thing. I it can sits see why. Right here, it's like a trap hat. Yeah, it's awesome. See, oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody to this episode of the Drum Department. Today we're talking all about stacks. Travis is back. For those of you who may not have seen Travis, he's in episode two Ooh. of the Drum Department. He was so uh, successful. We have you back today. Let's go. Uh, you were on tour recently. I was. Your band is called Carcosa. They are. It's very cool. We are. <laughs> and uh, nice, uh, you nice guys made it. Ball. First of all, that's yeah. important. You survived. <laughs> Which is good. Um, you had a successful tour, though, yeah? It was great. I don't think a band could ask for a better first tour. Excellent. Uh, if you want to check out Travis on the Instagram, it is travis.r.drummer. That's it. And Carcosa is, I think, just Carcosa BC. That's it. As in Bob Charles. Yes. For British Columbia, right. if you will. That too. But we have you here today because you are known for your stacking abilities. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Um, Travis and I worked together for a long time, and he has this innate ability to create really cool symbol stacks. And the reason that we wanted to go over why stacks are important and, and good and bad stacks is that I do not have this ability. I've seen I you stack a couple times. Stacks. <laughs> I've seen you do it a few times. It's, it's, you know, it's harder than it looks. And I was just talking to Brandon. <laughs> Before, um, well, I think it was what, 2011, 2012? Like when stacks became popular. Yeah. They just blew up, and all of a sudden, everyone's talking about stacks. I think the first one I remember seeing was Mike Portnoy's Max Stacks. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was like the first oh, yeah. one you can go to the store and actually buy. Yeah. Right. Right. Otherwise, like you were mentioning, you saw Terry Bozio mess with stacks. Yeah. And I'm sure there's other drummers that have tried it, but they became popular around then. And I do remember going to the music store and trying them out, and I remember like being scared because I didn't want. Might have even been Kyle at the long. Mm, I don't want him yeah. looking at. Don't damage the symbols, you know. Don't don't try these stacks. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I was so curious. How do how do you make them and all? And, and then, uh, yeah. How do you buy one? How do you buy the bottom symbol that you're not even going to hit and spend like three hundred bucks on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one that's in the middle or something, right? <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of unknowns for me about stacks. And uh, when Kyle and I were talking about an episode on stack symbols, he's like, "Dude, you're like, yeah, we got to get Travis out there." Because you make stacks all the time, you have unique ones. Uh, uh, uh. You have some in your symbol bag that you brought today as well, too. Uh, they're all actually out here already. Well, there you go. They are. Cool. Yeah. What got you into stack symbols? Um, I don't know. I probably having broken stuff around, and I'm like a big hoarder, so I don't like to throw things out. Uh, and then one day, just deciding that I need to do something other than hang it on the wall, and kind of started there, and then. You know, I thought drums aren't enough money to play. I might as well buy more things and <laughs> create more more cost for me. And I don't know. I just kind of fell in love with them, and they always have a place on my kit now, no matter what. And All right, so yeah. stacks. Yeah. Like, uh, why do I need a stack? I don't think anybody needs a stack. No, no, no. I need a stack. Tell me why. You need a stack? I need a stack. Okay. Uh, Elevator pitch. Yeah. You're playing a gig. <laughs> yes. A China symbol's way too much. Too much. Trash symbol's way too much. Yes. Splash symbol might work. Might. But the sustain, you want some oh, trash. Oh, yeah. 
There's your staff. The short, like, trashy punctuation is the cool thing. It's mm-hmm. like having a china that someone is holding on to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like a broken a china, honestly. Yeah. And it's more expensive to hire someone to hold the symbol than it yes. is just by a staff. That's a really good point. That's actually. a great way to yes. justify the cost. Yeah. I've even seen some drummers use your, like the stack. It's almost like a clap track, like a secondary backbeat or a, yep. to thicken yep. up their backbeat or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Bard <laughs> from uh, Leprous does that yes. very well. Is it Leprous or yeah. Leprous? <laughs> It's like Pace I don't know. Classic. I think it's leprous. Leprous? I, I think. Like leprosy? I think so. Something like yeah, that. that leprosy like sounds interesting, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we got, uh, we got way off topic. Maybe show us like some normal use cases where you would hear sound, or where you would normally use them. And not just like in the metal scene, because I know you play a lot of metal. Yeah, I don't use them so much for metal all the time. I mean, maybe like as a splash substitute sometimes, but um, at least the smaller ones I don't use too much. But... Uh, I like to use them for like hip hop. Anytime I'm playing oh, like anything like okay. trappy. Interesting. So like almost like hip hop has that like uh, backbeat like snare sounds like. Yeah. Sort of like that. Right. Love it. Yeah. So that yeah, it kind of has that like characteristic of a clap track or like a, like I said a trap snare or. Like a cross stick, like that fat kind of that that chunky cross stick sound we we hear a lot these days. Okay, so you got like three totally different stacks rolling here. Uh, what makes a good stack? So what's a, important? A in couple stack things. Etiquette. I look for a couple things. Um, the first thing I think that's really important, especially if you're not using like uh, like over here, we have like an X hat arm, so the two symbols can face bell opposite. Like pair of hats. Yeah, if you're just putting on a normal symbol stand, the one thing I look for is like texture on the symbol. Because mm-hmm. if you have two symbols that are really brilliant, uh, it might be a little shrill and you don't get the sizzle. It like locks the air in there. Yeah. Right, it just sounds kind of like dead. That's yeah. the problem I have when I make a stack. I grab like two hi-hats and just put them top on top and it just sounds like... Yeah. I'm, I'm literally writing these notes down because at the end, Brandon and I are going to go make our own stacks. Dude, and I, I think that's cheating. Hey, he's giving Take us advice. In. Cheat, 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 cheat. I'm, right, I'm, right, I'm ready to start. Brandon spends a couple of days with Chad Smith. Keep Everything going. is just <laughs> I know. easy, smooth. Keep going. I actually have to write these notes down. Um, another thing that usually stacks really well, uh, anything with holes. You cannot go wrong with holes. It's going to trash up the symbols. Again, it's uh, going to let some air out, so you get a quicker... Quicker, like chick out of it. Yeah, yeah. So that that always helps. Uh, anytime you stack like a china with something because it's already trashy, mm-hmm. it's, you're gonna get a much louder stack. Uh, but that usually will give you some of the uh, some of the bite that you want. And size wise, you can use anything, right? You can go crazy. And you've got so. And the other thing too, the one rule I think that I think people assume is they should be, all be the same size, but definitely no. not. Those two fellows over there are the same size. They are. These two are not. These two are not. Or three or two. Those and two, then, yeah. what is happening over there, All young man? S- so this is four symbols. It's an alien. And Let's uh, go through that. Take that apart. Let's share with whatever you've created there. Yeah, I created and this about why. five minutes before we started. So <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. So what do we got? Oh my goodness. We got an 18-inch crash. Okay. You're an animal. I don't now, even know where to put most this. Most importantly, when you <laughs> made that, you did not try anything. You just grabbed them and put them on there, right? I did a couple things. Like, I, I messed around the bottom a little bit. Okay. So, we have the 18-inch crash on the top, 18-inch trash crash on the bottom. Uh, on, the, on the sub-basement? You yeah, I guess I guess on the middle floor. <laughs> yes. And then down here... Oh, my on, goodness. We got a 14-inch china and a 14-inch trash china. Ah, that's the Thomas um, Lane China. It's it like is. a $2,000 high hat is what you got there, right? Eh? Uh, I think that's <laughs> accurate. Yeah. I, pretty yeah. literally, yeah. Yeah. And uh, but it sounds it's completely unnecessary. <laughs> so this is what I would call like a I have extra symbols laying around stack. This, this is, is a, not something I'm going to go buy. Sleep personally. on the couch if you're buying one of those. Yes. Type of deal. Okay. You're going to be taking up a residency on the couch. <laughs> you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is something I just threw together. Um, kind of the idea is these on the bottom uh, kill a bit of like the decay that you get from the bottom symbol, especially in a hi hat because you're opening it. So right. you kind of get some weird overtones. So, but yeah, that's kind uh, of bulks up the the bottom too because if that's not a super heavy symbol, that can be kind of kind of like 
thin sounding. Mm -hmm. That kind of gives you a little more bite. Yeah, especially if you were doing something like live and you really want it to cut, yeah. thickening up it always helps. All right, put so. that sucker back together and let's hear the, it. Uh, the first drummer I saw play with like something on the bottom was uh, Annika. Where she yeah. Had, I think she was playing 15 inch Meinl hats and she had like a 13 or something on the bottom. I yeah, think her kind of dry them out. Does come with that okay. extra symbol. And she gave a demonstration where she plays just the hats. Yeah. They sound like hi hats. But then she throws that extra symbol. I think it goes underneath the bottom symbol. Yeah. And it just sounded like tighter and thicker. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. And then you had something else on top, right? But, yeah, you had this that. thing. Oh. Before you before you move on, for all the listeners on our podcast, because this is also a podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, awesome. But if you want to watch this on the go, you can check out the podcast. Um, Maybe you listen to it on the go, right? Yeah, listen to it on the go. Not watching on the go. You don't want to That's watch dangerous. on your go. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so for those, we just explained what the Hyatt is. Play it for those on the podcast so you can hear it. Just open it a little more. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good. Put that in context for me. Play me a nice disco beat, would you? It's got like this. It doesn't go, doesn't, doesn't do the pea soup thing. It sounds more like a wave is coming at you. Yeah, it's like, wow. it's, it's yeah. more like a sneeze. And can I try one, one more? Uh, give us a nice, some nice smooth jazz, like a nice, you know. Oh, hang on. We're going to do that. I've got, oh, some, I've got oh. some music for this. Okay. You know yeah. what? Let's do that right now. Travis, <laughs> we're going right to it. Here this we go. Is, uh, so I'm going to put rough. on some jazz for you. <laughs> oh, man. And just just play along naturally, however you would prefer. How would you? Oh, I want to see what the stacks will do. Okay. Here we go. Ready? No, but. Perfect. That's the correct answer, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Take that bass for a walk, Brando. Actually, <laughs> super cool. Holy, that's the first time I played jazz. I like the upswipe on years. that. Yeah, you like that? It's like having some rivets. It's got that sizzle. It's like on having it. some rivets. It's exactly like that. And you don't have to drill holes in your symbol. Yeah, it, there you go. Kind of reminds me of. You just that have to buy a whole other another one. The, 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 the swish knocker that Simon Phillips has. Yeah. Where he'll bust that giant symbol out, but he'll like swing away on it. But he just, he just kind of like he he won't let it get out of control. He just kind of. Mm. He just kind of, as they say, tang, tangs the hump. Yeah. Is that the, the official term? No. Spangs tangs the, the hump. Spanks the, never mind. Anyways, <laughs> it no. sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try, let's try two more styles that All you right. maybe wouldn't put. Well, this first one you might put them in, but I want to see what you do with it. So, uh, yeah, here we go. That's all you got. I'm not telling you anything else. Oh, boy. How they can just be tucked into the music like that. Mm -hmm. You can get all those really cool little chop ideas without them like, because if you did it on toms, it'd be too much. Yeah. If you did it on like crash symbols, they'd just be washed out like crazy. So do you think this is drummer's way of combating like DJs, not DJs, I should say, but like producers adding in those yes. little things like, well, no, we, we can still do that. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I, I think, think that's so. why we see them more now. Yeah. Because I think, like you said, like the, the Mac stacks were kind of, that's like early 2000s. Yeah. And then we have like all the Benny Greb and Thomas Lang stacks. Now we have a plethora of stacks out there. And I think you're totally right though, is that it's like super expected in like metal and all, there's so many genres, but like uh, animals as leaders, there's tons of stacks. Yeah. There's a lot of modern music, periphery, all that stuff, right? Um, but we're finding it's kind of finding its home in all kinds of different places. A lot of the artists we have out now, they just they have stacks in their setups, which yeah. you're probably like, Oh, five years ago, I don't think they had a stack mm -hmm. in their setup. And you're like, hmm, mm -hmm. cool, all right. Okay, I got one more for you. Oh, boy. I accidentally teased this, but uh, I want to know what this would sound like. I'm just curious. With only stacks. Yeah. You can play the rest of the drums. Maybe just stacks. I don't know. Whatever inspires you. Here we all go. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> 
Can't be worse Hello, than Freddie. I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I hear the train a coming. It's rolling around a bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in fools and prison, and time keeps dragging on. That was super musical. I just sneak a blast beat somewhere. Gotta sneak a blast. I totally love Every that. Time. I bet you Johnny Cash would be like, you know, son, that was that was pretty good. I think I like that. <laughs> well, I think that would work better than if you didn't have brushes and trying to do it on the snare. So that's that's a hot take. I <laughs> that think is you're a hot right. take. What's the what's the gig you show up with no oh, brushes? Sorry, like five stacks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Post Malone sticking out again. There we go. That's fine. I love Posty. <laughs> Yes. It's a hit song. It's you gonna say it, right? Yeah. Uh, cool. How about those of you out there, folks in Drumland? Those of you on YouTube, those of you in the members area. Do you have a stack? Do you want a stack? Are you afraid of stacks? Let us know in the comments because uh, I'm getting warmer to stacks. Well, hey, what was, I was gonna say, what was the first stack you ever had? So the first, the first stack I ever had, I had this. Um, Turk, it was a Turkish symbol, and it had a crack around it, and I was going to throw it out. I never used it. And that's when stacks became popular. And I'm like, I wonder if I can kind of make my own stack. And I did, and it wasn't like perfect, but it was just a 16-inch crash over top of this 18-inch cracked um, yep. cracked uh, mm. uh, Turkish. And what I really immediately loved from it is I got use out of a symbol that was literally just sitting on my floor. Yep. I was never going to use it. Uh, and that's what kind of got me... My, it was my entry into into stack. I wanted to buy Mike Portnoy's Mac stack. I remember mm. uh, couldn't justify the cost. I mean, for me, it was a lot of money. Two, I really didn't know if I would get all the use out of it because back in this time, I only heard them in progressive rock, and yeah. that was one of my favorite right. styles of music. But I'm like, well, I also play this. I'm in, you know, worship band on Sundays. Like, I have all these different things that I play. Will I actually use? Will church I bring stack. that stack? Like a church stack, you're not going to amazing grace, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So those were my hesitations around it. So um, yeah, so I would talk to I would talk to drummers all the time. Like, what are you using? Yeah. Um, do I need to go and buy like the high end symbols? I just wasn't sure. And even to this day, there's still not a ton of information out right. there, at least guides or. So I mean, just hearing that, like I literally typed in notes um, of some of the things you said because I'm going to make one soon <laughs> here. Uh, what about you? What would do, do, have you? My, the first stack them yourself, I or? ever had was like I saw that Annika and Benny were using them. But the first one I ever had was uh, at a 19-inch uh, 30th anniversary crash. It's nice. like an expensive crash symbol. And then I got a 12-inch Turk splash that I put on top. So it was a 12 over a 19. And I was listening to Nate Wood. And he was doing all this stuff on his kit with Tigran. Like, Man, what is that? Like, he's playing up here, but yeah. it's trashy. So 12 over 19. And then I started using uh, a 19 over a 20. Both, ah. so no China's just like two crashes, uh, like you were saying earlier. Super and, cool. Yeah. Now I will say when I took my stack off, I did see marks. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you noticed that too. Oh, like, yeah. It hurts sometimes. Stack yeah. burn on the expensive ones, like the Stern logos. <laughs> yeah. So I guess the question is: Is it worth it for drummers to go and experiment? Like we're about to experiment on all these. Like some of these symbols aren't cheap, and uh, but I'm okay wrecking them. In, in the pursuit of science. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you got the right, right guest here for wrecking yeah. symbols. I'll tell yeah, you yeah, that. yeah. And Jerry's not in the office today, thank goodness. But you would do the same. For all you out there who don't have the privilege of having like a, a symbol rack like this, like it's it can be nerve wracking to try. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like, you know? but, you're, but there are like one of the cool things about stacks is it doesn't have to be, like you said, like a 19 inch yeah. super high end symbol because you're looking for this short, sharp attack. A lot of times that can be produced with the right combination of inexpensive symbols. Um, I think like, Minel has their HGS stack, which we yeah, had with yeah. um, Zach the, Cruz. They're great. Right. Bissonette was using the like X, XSR yeah. Sabian one or yeah. something. The Peisty, uh Swiss stack, I think it's called. There's a bunch, yeah. PSTX. Yeah. That's made of like relatively inexpensive materials. And honestly, that's what I have at home right now is the PSTX 14 inch Swiss stack, I think it's called. Mm. Sounds great. I mean, I have that and it's ready to go. It's, it's ready made, right? The first stack I ever made was using like a busted old 18 inch Zildjian like rock crash that had a mm. huge crack in it. It wasn't even mine, it's my brother's. He just left it at our place. Who cracked it though? He did. Ah, yeah, 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 that's yeah. fair. And then, uh, <laughs> I put it together with like a splash. I did the, you guys ever remember a drummer named um, 
uh, oh, Billy Ward, not Bill Ward, but Billy Ward. I know Bill Ward. Earlier. Yeah, Billy Ward. Okay. Uh, he's on one of the Modern Drummer Festival. He had this like oh, crazy yeah, yeah. kit. Yes, you know what you guy I'm talking about. Yeah. he was the guy that I first saw where he put splash cymbals underneath his crashes and his rides mm. to get that sort of like darker, drier, but but almost buzzy sound. Because at the time, nobody was making these ultra dry cymbals. So his way around that was to sort of stack splashes underneath. So I was doing that for a bit. And then that's what I did with that busted old symbol, and it was like nice. it sounded just just weird. But it was I, I I I kept trying to find a way to sneak it into music. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it will work, sometimes not. But yeah, you don't need to spend much money. That stack was made out of a symbol that was left at my house uh, and uh, a splash that I had that I liked playing. And I was like, well, what if I did this instead? Yep. Right? Definitely. No right. big. So Travis, yeah. tell us tell us what your tips are for those cats out there. That are wanting to get some stack symbols. Yeah, it can be intimidating, uh, especially if you've never messed with one before, don't know what to do with one. Uh, I recommend for somebody getting into it to probably buy a prepackaged one because it can be expensive if you start buying symbols that don't go together. And like we were talking about before the show begins or began, uh, if you go to the music store, you might be rubbing logos off. They might not be too happy about that either. <laughs> so. Uh, as a former music store employee, I can confirm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, buying prepackaged stacks is a great, great way to get started. Um, there's a lot of great demos out there, a lot of great signature products. and uh, Or if you have broken stuff at home, just start messing around. Some of my best stack symbols at home are uh, crack symbols that I had cut down. Mm-hmm. You can also do great. like inexpensive things to add to them, like Definitely. these sort of things. Those if you don't want to buy these... Well, maybe you got some of this laying around at home. Yeah. Now that looks a little dangerous. I'm also showing you guys these things. This is a little bin of extra components in case you decide you want to add something to your stuff. Is that really like like an industrial chain there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to the jewelry store. This is like, uh, I guess if you're towing a car, I don't know. And these, of course, are just bathroom chains. Yep. But they do have kind of a cool... Yeah, those can add great situation texture. going on there. So. And I do that often. I'll like sometimes throw stuff in the middle of this. Right. Here. And it adds Here. a lot. Yeah. No, no, that was going to be my thing. Okay. Right. That was going to be my thing. One of my Let's favorite stacks is like a 20 inch China on the bottom, a 20 inch crash, and a South American like ankle rattle, they call cha chas. <laughs> and they're like literally boiled goat toenails. Oh my. And they like. Lots of like jazz what? guys with like Tell throw them on the drums. Is and this a Steve cymbals. Lyman thing? Because I remember no, no? Old, uh, Dave King. I think has Dave what he King. Uh, that's right. Yeah, but they actually sound super sweet. They dry everything out and they kind of rattle when you. Huh. But. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got one more question. I noticed that on most of your cymbal stands, you just have a regular screw on top. Mm-hmm. But that one over there, you have a hi hat clutch. Yeah. Why? And also, my follow up is how tight do you usually want the stacks? So that's kind of one answer for both of those. Uh, why is I can control the sizzle depending on what I'm playing? Uh, so like on a traditional stack, when you just have them like this, uh, you can control the sizzle to a degree, but you're not able to control the separation and how much they're touching. Hmm. So if I want like maybe a more China sound, I can open it up a bit more and let it breathe. And uh, sometimes I can tighten it up if I want more like of a hi-hat sound. So. For me, I'm usually somewhere in the middle. It depends on like if I'm playing live in the studio, what I like if I'm at a gig. It depends what I'm doing, the style of music. But I'm usually somewhere in the middle. I like it, at least my big one, when I mount it like this, I like to let it breathe a little bit. Can you show us like just the difference between that like mm-hmm. tightened up? Because right now it looks like it's about... Yeah, so like if I crank it down there, you get like a... Probably like a more traditional stack sound. Uh, but if I open it up, you kind of get like a wash. It almost sounds like a broken china. Ooh. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, Thomas Hawk. That's what he does with uh, it's the huge. One right in the front. Yeah. Oh, I right. don't want to ask so you to separated. play. I don't want to ask you to play bleed, but play bleed. Okay. Well, like I mean, that. happily. Come on. Come on. You got to do it. Thank you. Had to do it. Uh, All right, we're done. That's yeah. so hard. <laughs> I, can't I even, think you got the cool stacks here. Me and Brandon don't need to do this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the takeaway for me is 
just don't put two symbols the same size together and try and let them breathe a little bit. Yep. That seems to be Can you thing. put foam in the middle? Like, is that a, a strategy or is that being too silly? I've never done it. I've seen, I think I've seen some people like tape the symbols before. I don't know. I've never done it. Um, Michael Shack is like done a felt that. is what I meant, not foam. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can do oh, that. Felt. yeah, I've seen I've seen that a couple times. Like I've achieved this kind of vibe, like in a in a pinch without one of these by like taking the the washer off and kind of doing that to separate them. So yeah, there's no rules. Okay, okay. I think one thing that helped me a lot when I was just stacking whatever I had was the profile of the symbol, like how mm -hmm. flat it was or um, how curved it was. Some of them will stack on top of each other way better, yeah. or sometimes they don't quite fit. Yeah, and sometimes that messes with the sound. Yeah, but definitely, yeah, yeah, the bell size can definitely get in the way for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, someone in the uh, YouTube chat mentions uh, Terry Bosio, who was yeah. certainly a a pioneer in sort of stack ideas. And in fact, I would argue I'm pretty sure Portnoy's Max stacks the the look and feel of them is probably borrowed from the radio design. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that I, would make sense. And I don't think anybody, even to this day, uses them like he does. That's true. Yeah, yeah they're, they're like more pitched like tune symbols, yeah. right? Yeah, all different right. level. Let's let's put this all to the challenge here. Uh -huh. uh, we have two beautiful symbol racks with all kinds of symbols, guys. Okay. Uh, and what we're gonna do is Brandon and Dave. They each are gonna get two minutes to put together whatever they feel is going to make the supremest stack. Of all time. Should I take these off? Romeo's no, no, no. There's two stands here. So you're going to be able to A, B them and all that okay. stuff. Okay, so, yeah, sure. Uh, you can ask Travis questions if you want. Okay. Um, but what we're going to do is once you guys have them made, Travis is going to play them both. And we're going to get everybody out there to vote for which one they think oh, is best. I like nice. this. Oh, I see. So it can't just be a ridiculous... Like, it can't just be something... It has to sound good, is what I I'm think saying. it could Whatever be. You want. <laughs> like, it's got to inspire Whatever Travis. Whatever you think sounds good... I gotta inspire fine. Travis, is what I gotta do. Well, okay. Now, the the last time we did this, yes. we had some ridiculous like, garbage can lids and whatnot. Yeah, we had garbage can lids and all kinds of things. And I, I challenge you, you had like a minute to yeah, five stacks. I made some questionable stuff, <laughs> and it ended up... I was in a never in a thousand years I would have thought it sounded good. It sounded great. No it way! Did. So, that's okay. true. Yeah. But you, again, well, though, you have a gift. You are our expert today, right? <laughs> I so guess so. That's these, fair. These fine gentlemen, they're they're babes in the woods here. We don't know what's going to happen. All right. So. All right. Let's get the timer up because you got to have first? a proper timer. First. We're okay, I'll, go for, I'll go first. I don't mind going first. Plus, then I have all the selection. I think Dave I should go second. I think Dave. Dave's going to go second. What? I just, oh. oh. Because... Because he's been taking notes, he should have some more wily skills. All right. I'm thinking. Before Let's Brandon get that goes, clock though, up, everybody. Uh, before Brandon goes, what is the symbol you have in mind that you're going to make? Like, just ah. tell me like a characteristic or two of what you're going well. One thing Thanks. I've always liked is, <laughs> I, I think I'm going to use that stand on the end. Yep. Okay. And ah, I want to do okay. a china flared up with something in the middle. Okay. Something over top, same size, okay. with some... Maybe some goodies. Kind on. of a doodad. Big Mac okay. of symbols. That, yeah. that, was, that was mine. I was even going to sing the Big Mac song when I did mine. Dave's going to be upset because it's going to be like, ah, <laughs> oh, it's my idea, man. Two all beef. All right. Here stackers. we go. Let's bring up that clock. <laughs> Dave, I'm already at 91% that I have the best stack. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even made your stack yet. You haven't even made your stack yet. Oh, oh, Roman. Man. My oh, man. <laughs> man. Oh, yeah, you do a Rush video and a Food Fighters video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you okay. get all the votes. I rush. love, I, it, the best thing about putting that clock up is it's always going to, yeah, it's going to obscure something, which I love. A nice, giant clock. All right, so here we go. I'm going to count you down. Brandon, you ready to go? Yes. All right. Feeling strong, bud? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Let's go. Okay, let's take this off. If only that clock would run. Hmm. Hey, well, hey, you're getting extra time here. Is, yeah. Here yeah. Go. There, there she goes. goes. China's. <laughs> Uh, Jazz China. 20. Let's go. 20. Oh, you're putting it upside Flare it up. down. Flare it up. Okay. You got a 20 inch crash. This is a good pick right off 19. the bat. Oh, this is going to be a really jazzy stack. We should have to do the numbers of the, of the math, how much or how much it costs. Well, I was just going to say the bell. Okay. Maybe Unlikely pick. A bell Maybe. in the middle. Oh. Hold on. Do you want the clutch? Oh, my. Whoa. Oh. Okay. He's okay. testing yeah. as he goes. Okay, I like the strategy. He's got, he's got time. Good. The stuff here, yeah, please. Brandon threw away the bell. Huh? You threw away the bell. I don't want... Oh, yes, I did. I'm a little bit afraid of what this is. <laughs> you got a minute nine left. Brandon's going through the trial, yeah, and, the the trial and error. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Trial and error here. One minute left, Brandon. I'm a little disappointed. We should have given you a minute. 
Yeah. He's not done yet, though. Oh, see, that's that's the problem. The allure of that extra time. Now he's gonna go shopping. Like, what is this? This. Yeah. Anything that rattles, let's go. Ooh. That is not good. Okay. I feel like that's. A Kyle, yours or uh, Brandon, your standards are too high now. Thirty seconds this is left, impressed. Brandon. I'm Thirty seconds left. He of discerning taste. If you don't Dave. get that top on, you ain't you okay, Dave, it all. Dave, oh. tell the truth. Has he grabbed anything you have earmarked already? Uh, the first symbol. He Whoa. Uh. Try, <laughs> Fifteen seconds, Brandon. Okay, I'm giving up on that. <laughs> no, no, you should throw it in the middle. You should throw it in the middle. Oh, oh. nice. Ten sure, seconds, there you Brandon. Go. Ten seconds. <laughs> ten seconds. Oh, there you go. What is this? Oh no. Honestly? <laughs> Two, one, hands off. <laughs> okay, Hazus, well, get a close-up of that. Get a close-up of that monstrosity. It's leaking out. Oh, you didn't even it finish looks like, it. It looks like, it looks like a purse. You should have left a chat in the middle, it. man. So why did that not go on the <laughs> Oh man! Hey, you guys, that bottoms uh, out. It is what it is. Oh, Chill up the China. Dave, Dave, Dave's like, it's like golf. You gotta play it where it lies. You gotta play it. Don't worry, Brandon. You'll still win the popularity vote. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah, but hold on. <laughs> there, 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 there's some contact. Yeah, I know. I know, right? <laughs> okay, let's hear it. All right. It sounds cool. It, it, it certainly it just, sounds. It sounds really. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like help. That? Okay, here's how it might sound. I actually kind of like it open. I think, I think the chains actually were a little bit detrimental. <laughs> let's, let's, let's hear it again. Give us a little more of a demo. I don't even know what to play on that. <laughs> it it kind of sounds like marching symbols. So on an inspirational yeah. scale, it's like a three. Oh. I like oh. That. Dave, uh, I'm still well, waiting at Well, hold on, hold on. Maybe we... Ah! Oh! Okay. It's not really helping, I'm gonna be no, honest. I like my original design best. <laughs> so we're gonna call this... This is called Brandon String of... Hmm. That's not bad. Well, maybe if... Can play bleed on it? Oh, we could we play bleed on anything. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. Before the chain strangles you while you're playing. Yeah, come on, that's a, okay. that's a lawsuit right there. Kyle, you're probably the most um, qualified here. What would that symbol cost us if you were to go and make this yourself? If yeah. anyone Okay, let's to. have a quick look here. We got that. Oh, Canadian dollars? Oh my goodness. No, we'll go US. US uh, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be a big number. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Including the chains? I think the price tag's even still the on the bottom one there. We're looking at like... That's a minimum a thousand. I was going to say a thousand bucks. Yeah. yeah. See, I feel like that china on the bottom screwed me over. It's it's the first stack if you, you can wear. If you flipped it the other way around, you'd be all right. Yeah, but you did a weird profile. It's stylish though. What I'm so surprised <laughs> yeah, at though. It's true. It's it's a clothing accessory. You can wear though. it. If you're yeah. listening to this on. On the podcast, you need to check out the video for that. Travis is wearing the stack. If your drummer gets up in the middle of a gig, chain him up. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> All right. Well, oh my goodness. I'm still winning in votes. I can tell you one thing that um, I'm so, I'm shocked that with two still symbol trees, yeah. you only chose two symbols. Well, like, he went through stack, like ten, but my, my stack is going to have layers and depth. Yeah, but it's going to sound like garbage. <laughs> kind of like my music. Uh, might I remind, <laughs> remind you, Brandon? Seventy-three percent of people think my stack is better than yours, and you haven't yeah. even made one and yet. You haven't even made one yet. Well, that just tells you that twenty-three percent of people out there have Dave. faith in me. <laughs> All right, let's let's give those twenty-three uh, percent a chance here. So let's bring the. Don't know what shall to we? do. Don't. Are you here, using, here we go. Three, are you using the X hat? One, one and go. go. Okay, so I'm going to start with the China because that's what everyone does. But I'm also going to do what um, Travis did and see this down here. He's got he's got two on there. So I'm going to take this. And I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna start. He's with just that. grabbing stuff that's right next to each other. Okay. So here we go. Oh, I'm gonna need more of a. I'm gonna need more of a. Yeah, more room. Okay, I'm on it. Take it. Okay, and then I say, oh, look at this, guys. I can't wait to see what happens here. This stand's gonna die. Brandon, this was at your fingertips, yeah. and you didn't even use it. Right. I was waiting for him to grab that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do oh my. is I need to put. Oh, in, we're going somewhere really weird. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay. And then oh. this thing I'm gonna right. throw on top, right? Yeah. And then I'll do the Brandon test. Sounds amazing. <laughs> then I'm going to go over here. I, I felt bad that no one was going to use this tree. Oh, this don't worry, good. man. 
Okay, so Dave, you've so got a minute, uh, 12, 10. Don't you let me down, voters. Oh my okay, goodness. I hope this symbol stand has insurance. <laughs> okay. All right. I see where you're going. With. <laughs> this is actually great so far. I love this. Pawing at it like a cat. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you, you got plenty of time. Oh, this is it right here. Okay, guys, I yeah. found it. <clears throat> See, the thing is, there's just enough time for you to second guess everything. Yeah, he's gonna start over now, Swatch. Yeah. Start over. <laughs> okay, will this fit? That looks uh, like maybe a not on the spaceship. bell. Okay, well, I'll take the bell okay. off. Yeah. Wow. All right. Dude, that's a little bit. Of there you go. That's a stack. <laughs> Oh. Gravity. Oh, you still have 30 seconds. A nice little tie. Throw the, that. Honestly, there. the bell might be a nice addition on there too. I noticed you've not. <laughs> Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. Right? Is that and, it? And, and, uh, no, no, you no, didn't no. Choose the chain. <laughs> oh, no. okay. Yeah. Uh, but this. Oh, does it play itself? No, this one I'm putting. Hold on. I okay. got 10 seconds. I'm gonna put Nine, this one on the symbol stand. Seven, Four, Dave. six, Here go. five. Here we go. Four, three. Okay. All right. Two. Okay. Take my stack. I call it the Big Mac stack. Someone said Certainly they need copyrighted a crown. immediately. Two, it, it needs a what? It, a tiny crown. It kind of has a crown. It kind of does. It's the bell. You I still see, don't know what to do with that's this. That's how you make a stack. Dave. I, uh, Dave. Let's see the poll. Let's see the poll change now. Let's. Uh, okay. Well, where are we at right people now? People know see what's here. right. Uh, so before, um, before it's you swing. Before you demo it, Travis. This has got to inspire you, okay? I I love this. All right. This is what I'm all about right here. I'll tell you, <laughs> as like growing up a metalcore kid, seeing that bad that boy has right? got me excited. <laughs> yeah. I almost I almost got this taken away from me on tour. It was in the same spot right there. Well, that deserves a dab. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Holy cow. So, yeah. I'm trying to get to the... Brandon, yeah, anyway. it's... Everyone it's, knows that there's a free membership any... with every vote for my stuff. <laughs> Okay, let's hear it. I want to hear it. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Let's go. All right, I don't even know where to start with We haven't even heard it yet. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Brandon's losing ground. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey. All right. <laughs> That killed it. I was inspired and I hit that and I want to go home. Uh, yes, oh, Travis, man. thank you. Thank you. Guys sucked. <laughs> oh boy. That's, uh, I'm wow. still winning in the poll. Are you actually? Okay. Yes. Uh, on, can you play trans. the same? Just Maybe just do bleed because why not? not? Uh, go back and forth between the two and let's see. We'll A, B them that way. All right, all right. With bleed. Because you can. Because <laughs> yeah, you can, man. Right, all right. <laughs> Yikes, I just lost the gig. Um, well, I, my favorite thing about this one is the tie flipping over into the bell. It looks style. like it's trying to oh, what? Like, it's trying to feed itself. Hit it again. So we've got Brandon's string of pearls, and we've got Dave's Big Mac. With a, it's or, my formal Big Mac with the tie. If anybody's ever seen Little Shop of Horrors, it's like Audrey 3 over here. Okay, there's people in the chat that they're legitimately torn, and I do have to say, Brandon, your sound's Dave's, good. It Dave's looks, winning. It looks like a monstro monstrosity, but it but it sounds pretty good. It does sound pretty good. Mine is a more, uh, like, more edgy style. Sure. Yours is classy. Well, you know what made mine I is the, the, the spiral one in the middle. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's can the we, heart. Can we, yeah. okay, we should deconstruct this now and figure it all out here. All right, sounds good. Because right, I have no idea. I lost track halfway through there what you put in there. You need <laughs> a couple mortgages just to own this. That's for so sure. So we've got a minor bell. Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that, like $200? No, th those, those are actually a... cheap. Those are like 120 bucks. Cheap, yeah. Okay, for okay. a bell? Yeah, okay, we're, we're 100, 120 in. All right. That's going to be another 40, we'll say. So 160. Mac, that says most expensive big That's got to be 450 bucks. <laughs> That's going to be probably, or what so. is it, 20? 20. Uh, what's the size? 20? 20. Yeah, so, yeah, that's U.S. Another, probably like 300. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Four, so. five, six. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. This is your whole symbol bag right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're doing all right here. So now we're at like another buck eighty. So yeah. see this? just over a thousand. This would have been enough right here. <laughs> what, oh, this stuff. Oh, we got more. Dude, I forgot. Yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> okay, not it's only it's is, like this looks like it got run over by a car. Not only is it cut up, but like what happened there? 
Uh, you know, though, it's years. been stacked a couple times custom. before. Yeah, it's custom, right? Yeah, you know, prototype. You know, Amazing. It's, it's Eleven hundred bucks a rod. <laughs> oh, we're at probably. I'm gonna say if you had to buy this, yeah, it's gonna be twenty five hundred bucks. <laughs> At yeah, least, well, you know. I mean, this in Canadian dollars, this is probably like a six hundred and fifty dollars China. So around two thousand, and then I got a little sandwich right there on the bottom. <laughs> that's, that's honestly probably. That's the I gotta try this by that's itself. The appetizer. This is probably a good enough stack on its own. You know, I, I love how we're junior chicken. To the Big Mac. <laughs> the value menu. Yeah. Well, no, Dave just made the uh, the chicken Big Mac, which is a thing right uh, now. It this is, is a your thing version right now. Of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so around two grand. So. It's not, not, not too much. That would have been great right there, <laughs> it's not, even. It's not so bad. There you go. That's a stack. Put a little bow tie it on. It certainly is. Got to hit up a business meeting with your stack? No problem. Oh. A little bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the poll at right now? Did, did, did I get any votes? Uh, you won 51% to 48%. Oh, no my goodness. Kidding. Let's go. Oh, Let's man. Go. Good, because I, I was like, I'm going to have to learn all these Rush songs if I want to. Yeah, we're just going to like duke it out. <laughs> so what's the next? So what, does Dave do like the uh, does it do like the entire Travis Barker catalog? Is the that whole Slipknot. Uh, Slipknot. Mm. Oh, come on, give me a give me an easier it's one. The next than that. logical choice. Can it be like? You um, get to use your your Big Mac stack. <laughs> yeah, that's but I don't true, think <laughs> that's true. Uh, Jay might use a stack. I don't think Joey ever used a stack. <laughs> well, either way, either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna piece out mine. I'll put it on um, uh, Reverb if anybody mm. wants to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll give them a Love discount, it. free membership yeah. to Drumio if you buy it. Comes with a, a Big Mac. <laughs> Does come with yeah. a Big Mac, yeah. but uh, okay, Travis. In your honest opinion, though, how silly was that? Like, did, would <laughs> would you actually use any of those that we we made? Like, it's a bit excessive. Yeah. Uh, sound wise, uh, I could I could find a way to use yours pretty often. Brando's. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, if I really right. didn't want a gig and I'd show up for the audition just as a formality, <laughs> I'd bring that. That's so Can you imagine good. you show up and you're like all professional and they see this? And it's, <laughs> it's the chain. Like, what is that? You like the chains like rubbing the sound guy's mic. And, yeah. 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 This is a buzz I can't seem to get rid of. Oh, that's my stack. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's my 85 inch drain chain <laughs> hanging out between my, my stack. Just pulled it from the shower. Yeah. I'm just glad that nobody used this because I feel like this is like a one and done on whatever symbol you put it on. Yeah, I, I thought of it. You know, what I kind of gathered out of that is at the end of the day, you're supposed to make it sound like two or multiple symbols. Oh, you're putting it on top. <laughs> but I think like I could have gotten probably a very similar sound with half of the symbols that I used. Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. There is a point of uh, diminishing returns yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's time to do one more countdown timer because I just like uh -oh. timers. We're going to put Travis through blast beats. Even though he plays Blast Beats on a regular basis. I do. Uh, we're going to do the 20 questions in 60 seconds. If you answer all 20 in 60, uh, we're going to give away a prize to someone out there in YouTube land. So Is it that YouTube, whole stack? Or? No. It might <laughs> Drum, be you'll go out of business. Yeah, it yeah. might be Dave's, uh, maybe Dave's Big Mac stack or something. All these but. prizes come on my salary anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just like, keep it's it an keep NFT it of that stack, I think. Is what oh, the playing. NFT version of that stack? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> All right, let's bring up that beautiful Blast Beats clock. Are you ready to go there, uh, Trap? Yeah, I have no That's idea what I'm good. getting into. Uh, 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 three, two, one, go. Nylon tip or wood tip? Wood. Favorite place on the planet? Denver, Colorado. Heel up or heel down? Uh, in the middle. What are you listening to right now? Uh, Drumio's podcast. <laughs> Coded or clear? Uh, clear. Artist you want to work with? Uh, Nolly Get Good. Symbols, clean or dirty? Uh, dirty. Golf or tennis? Golf. Pedals, chain, strap, or direct drive? Direct drive. TV or movies? Movies. How many snare drums is too many? Never any amount. White wine or red wine? IPAs. <laughs> Single or double pedal? Double. Fly or drive? Drive. Are concert Tom still cool? Absolutely. Suit or t-shirt? T-shirt. Lacquer or wrapped drums? Lacquer. Steak or seafood? Steak. LP or streaming? Uh, LP. Brandon or Dave? Dave, yeah! that's stacked. That's stacked. Yeah! That's stacked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was that literally like a buzzer beater? Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was you, literally you a buzzer it. beater. <laughs> man, I was Savage. looking at the timing. Brandon, good game. Man. I will not fist bump you over that. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest one was uh, golf or tennis. 
Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about either. <laughs> I think we've also found that across the board, concert toms are cool. Yeah, I think so. Everyone, Every everyone that said yes to that question. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't I like ever use them, but they are sick. Like, yeah, yeah. they're so. I've messed around with them, and they're so fun. I Thomas the, Lang's answer was just like, of course. He's got a roto tom <laughs> kit. I mean, come I on. Even Pearl is uh, like doing add-ons now on a bunch of kits. Really? With, uh, oh, I love it. Yeah. That's okay, great. we're going to give away uh, some Drumeo drumsticks. Three pairs of Drumeo drumsticks to someone in the YouTube chat. It's got to go. I, that name is amazing. Three geese in a trench coat. <laughs> you have just won three pairs of Drumeo drumsticks. Wait, wait, wait. Please email me at krad what was his at name? drumeo.com. Three geese in a trench coat? Three geese in a trench coat. Oh That's a little sus. Or, or, or maybe I should say in their own language... Ha, 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 ha. Oh my goodness! <laughs> three geese. You speak in fluent Saint Anger's oh, there over there. Three geese. Uh, I love that song. Hey, you want some geese? Three geese <laughs> in a trench coat. You know, Jared used to sell duck and goose. And, and, and yeah, all it could be Jared. Could be Jared. Probably is. It could Going be Going back to his roots, slinging, slinging duck on the street. <laughs> duck slinger. <laughs> duck slinger. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Well done. You nailed that. <sighs> Try my best. Okay. Let's get to Student of the Week, everybody. Here on the Drum Department, we love to celebrate the Drumeo community, and we like to highlight one of our students. This week's Student of the Week, his name is Stella Artois, which I don't know if it's Ooh. maybe a play on Stella Artois, maybe? <laughs> okay. Stella Artois? Yeah. Uh, uh, he says he's always wanted to be a drummer ever since high school. Growing up, he never had a drum set, but he was always drumming on tables and other surfaces while listening to music. His wife recently got him an Elisa's drum kit. Now that is a good nice. wife. Uh, which has been a game changer. He says, in fact, he's been playing up to three hours a day ever since he got it. Ooh. Mark's drumming hero is Neil Peart. Great choice. He listened and studied uh, all of Russia's songs, uh, much like Brandon. Uh, but he has also, uh, he says he has a couple other favorite drummers like David Robinson, John Bonham, and Stuart Copeland. Fine, classic. Good list. No Very doubt. good. Legends to be a fan of. So Stella Artois, congratulations for being Student of the Week. Let's check out a clip of Stella playing one of my favorite songs by The Cars. Check it out. Awesome. Stella Artois, congratulations again. Fantastic work yeah. for someone who's been playing for uh, a couple of years. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice and solid drumming. And I'm so glad to have you part of the Drumio community. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. Up next, we have Groove of the Week. Now, normally we've done Groove of the Week where one of us would play a groove and we teach it. We're not doing that anymore, are we, Dave? No, we're going to change it up. Anarchy. 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 I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We teach drum beats all the time on Drumio. <laughs> On our YouTube channel, we have thousands of beats taught in the membership. So let's do we're, something a little it's different. It's just we're a devil may care kind of outfit. So yeah. you know. No, honestly, for we want to celebrate a trench coat. Three <laughs> 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 trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's got to be an innuendo in there that we're missing, and then we're probably going to be canceled after this. Ah, uh, yes, the old three geese in a trench coat, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna look that up after the show, <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. So. Uh, this is a great entrance to this new segment. Uh, so what we're going to do from now on, instead of uh, so teaching good. you guys a groove, we're going to highlight a groove from a, a drummer, a groove, a fill, something just crazy from a drummer that we find out there. So on the Instagram, on the YouTubes, maybe just walking down the street one day. Who knows? So we asked Travis today to uh, give us uh, a groove of the week from someone he's been checking out lately. Mm -hmm. So we got a clip here. The gentleman's name, correct me if I'm wrong, is 
Car- sorry, Cameron Carbone. Yes. Oh, he's great, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. nuts. Uh, if you want to check out uh, Cameron, his Instagram is Carbone Drums, and he plays in a band called Altermind. But check out this ridiculously sick groove uh, from Cameron Carbone. Check it out. Unreal. Ooh. That is tasty. I need yeah. some lessons. Holy. It's like singles and doubles all over that. And yeah. it's like, do you guys catch that he also had a stack? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not yeah. as cool as ours, but it was still cool. Yeah. <laughs> we hung at Nam last year. I think he shares a studio with the Polyphia guys. Yeah. Yeah, he oh, does. There you go. Yeah. Great teacher, too. So you you actually connected with them? Yeah. No way. Yeah, super yeah. nice guy. Well, here's the thing. is like, I, we're constantly scouring YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I mean, beyond just the fact that we're drumio, we're also just drummers and we're fans mm-hmm. of drumming. So we see all these cool videos and we see all these cool beats all the time. So I thought, why not, why not uh, highlight them? And um, well, we share them through, through work every day. It's yeah. like, yo, yeah. have you seen this person play? You're like, whoa. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be like an unbelievable drummer performing Olympic style grooves. It could be just something laying down in the pocket that just mm. feels good. You know, yeah. it could be on TikTok, it could be on Instagram, but we got our eyes out there. And if if you guys think you have a video worthy of being featured on the drum department as a groove of the week, um, hit KRAD up, KRAD yeah, at drumio.com. KRAD at drumio.com. Let us know, yeah. All right, we're going to get to gear of the week, everybody. Really excited about this. You're actually an Evans artist. Right. Uh, as of recently, I guess mm-hmm. so, yeah. Oh, I just said it now, so. How about that? You are now. <laughs> you better be. Larry, are Either you listening? way, I'm using them and I love them. <laughs> Larry's always listening. That's right. Larry is always listening. <laughs> he might be watching. Let's see. Uh, so we're going to highlight today these cool drum heads. So you probably have heard of the Evans hydraulic heads. Uh, for many years, drummers have talked about the drum heads that have the oil in between. There really is only one, and it is the Evans hydraulic. Uh, but these ones aren't just hydraulic. They're also colored. These are obviously blue, but they also, these ones are frosted. They would stack, actually. They would stack. I have a couple here. We should stack them. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, so these are actually frosted hydraulics, which sounds like a breakfast cereal, but um, (laughs) new from Evans, the frosted hydraulics. They're great. Um, (laughs) Sorry. Nice source of fiber. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, all of the rival flavin, uh, but uh, they serve uh, purpose really well either on snare or floor tom. We have them both set up here today. They're going to give you that really fat fundamental, and they're really sh- short sounding. In fact, I don't think you have any muffling on the snare, do you? I don't. So let's hear. Super tight, yeah. articulate. Would you yeah. use that? Oh yeah, I have one. There you go. Yeah. Oh really? On one of my snares. Go yeah, back to the shoulder cam. This is one thing I like about, or I like and don't like about hydraulic, because it's got a cool kind of texture look on it, but it also looks like you spelt some of your <laughs> your pre-show bevy on there. And it's stuck, and, and you can't stuck. get to it. You can wipe as much as you can, <laughs> but it's got a cool look to it, too. Maybe you're just really advanced, and you have all these playing areas, and you're just super accurate. Like whack-a-mole. But well, you yeah. know how like you, you get the dot on your snare, if you, like you have right, good accuracy, right. but maybe you have different playing areas for different sounds, okay, you know? Okay. And or you have bad course, aim, like to, me. Yeah. <laughs> to show the drum head's versatility, yeah. we've also wound one out here on the floor tone. Yeah. So let's hear that. <laughs> See, the thing is, when you get those really like, like pre-muffled or muted heads, articulation is so mm-hmm. good. And I find with the hydraulics, like that's almost falling off the drum low. It's super to me. low, yeah. I, but this it sounds was, like a 16, but it's a yeah, 14. Yeah, you can get yeah. away with it because the head's so thick. Yeah. And with the with the muffle, it doesn't sound flappy. Mm-hmm. It just sounds fat. So yep. two totally different sounds, same drum head. Yep. And uh, you could play brushes with it if you want. Definitely. To, right? Could so you? we're going to give away, I have two sets of these. I have a red set and a black set, so two 14s. Uh, we're going to give them away inside our members area to two of our lucky members. Do we have anyone with such a cool name like three geese in a trench coat? You can't top that. <gasps> no, you can't. Oh, my goodness. It's Four geese in a trench coat, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I tell you. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Trav. Uh, pick a number between one and six. Hold on. I was there. What? 
You're looking for a name? I'm looking for There might be a birthday. Well, I'm going to give away two sets. Okay. So okay. I, need, I need a number between one and six. 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 Okay. Is that between one and six? I don't know if that. That, that <laughs> does qualify for sure. Uh, Kane F. Congratulations. Ooh. You have won a set of, I'm going to say these are red. You've won a set of red Evans 14 inch hydraulic frosted drum heads. Good lord, that is a lot to say. Uh, we're also going to give away a set of black frosted ones. Ooh. Dave, did you got a name for me? I got a name for you. All right. Um, Bicycle Punk. Bicycle Good. Punk. Bicycle Punk. If you're still in the chat, you have to still be here, but I just heard it's your birthday coming Ooh. up very soon. So, well. And I don't want that to become a standard and a thing. Everyone's birthday is <laughs> always something going to be, be thing, on though. Mondays yeah. uh, moving forward. But um, yeah, I just uh, saw that in there. So Bicycle Punk, if you're in there, congratulations. I feel like we're, like, we're building a gang. Bicycle Slowly, punk. yes. Three geese in a trench coat. Yeah, Three totally. geese in a trench coat. Uh, <laughs> the drum goes so gang. <laughs> Kane F and Bicycle Punk, I have to remember the name. Email me at krad at drumio.com at your earliest convenience. We'll get these drum heads sent off you. Congratulations. Now, uh, the drum department would not be complete today if we did not give away an annual membership to someone on the YouTubes. Travis, I need your help to pick one here. Right, so let's go. Um, I'm going to ask Travis, play me another groove with the stack while I look for a name. How about that? I want you to inspire me to select a name, a winner here. So That's a lot of pressure. Anything I know. but bleed. Anything but bleed. Okay, fair enough. All right. All right, I have a winner. I'm solid. Just translate that to more. A nice resolution. Nice We're getting yeah, yeah, yeah. a one-year membership to... It did. It, hey, it worked. Brandon, the stack came in. <laughs> Some inspiration in there. So the winner for the annual membership <laughs> is Spider Dan. Spider Dan. Hey. Congratulations, Spider Dan. Hey. You Congrats, have won Spider. a Drumio membership. It's going to last for a year. Email me at krad at Drumio. Wow, Holy cow. That just gave me a video <clears throat> idea. Blast beats over Spider-Man. Do you know, Jeez. Kyle, it's probably, about, what, a week and a half you're working on that song? <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't do bad. You didn't do bad. I had bad. to find a name that worked. You had to find a name that worked. <laughs> Gotta start with Spider. And I also want to mention quickly, so we talk a lot about what's happening in our members area. There's all kinds of cool stuff happening there. If you want to check out what else we have, we don't just offer really awesome stuff on YouTube, though we do certainly do that. Mm -hmm. We do have all kinds of lessons. We have... Uh, we have courses, we have packs, we have five quick tips, we have 5,000 songs. songs that are drumless and drum <clears throat> I don't know. Drum, drum, drum ed? Drum full? Drum full. <laughs> you can check that out. You can always come over to Drumio. Check out our free trial. It's a seven day free trial at Drumio. Uh, it is drumio.com slash trial. Simple as that. There's even a graphic for it. We might even see it. Then again, we might not. And if you're in the podcast, you can't see it. Yeah. Right. You, so, see you can imagine Romeo.com slash trial seven days for free. Hey, there it is. And you can check out Piano, Guitario, and Singio too. Mm. They're all in You can be like Phil Collins. Do all of those things. Except for write hit songs. <sighs> well, maybe you can do that. Maybe, maybe we can, can help with that. that. We keep that for ourselves. Yeah, we, all the hits. Like, we can't right, promise it's that. In the, it's, in the, it's in the, the, what is it, the finer details or whatever? <laughs> yeah, it's the finer The small part. print that we own all music that yeah. you guys create. No, I'm joking. We own all Hey, thanks everyone for joining us. The drum department, we just have a lot more fun. I shouldn't say more fun because there's still lots of fun to be had when you're actually practicing and learning stuff. But we take this a lot lighter than we do our other lessons. And I hope you see that. And I, I don't know. You, I take this pretty seriously. Yes. I was getting pretty heated with that stack. That's true. Well, I was getting pretty heated with those poll results until... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I still I don't trust all the people out there. No. Well, we know where they live. <laughs> yeah. knock on Man, they're pretty quick to turn, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, <laughs> was the three geese three separate votes, or because that might have changed the he results? Also said, uh, he's starting a cult. Who wants to join? Oh, I'm in. Okay, well, he, I'm I sold. All three, all <laughs> I'm in too many cults already, man. I gotta <laughs> limit it. But anyway, thanks everyone for joining. We'll see you guys all next week. Those of you in the right members on. are going to come right back and answer your questions. Travis is going to hang out with us. See Yeehaw. you later, everybody. Woo.